Revenue strategy. What is the right price for your product or service? When trying to determine the appropriate price, you must evaluate both the supply and demand side of your market, the supply side. How much does your value proposition cost to produce? It is essential to consider the cost of all activities of your business. And don't forget to factor in some levels of profits. The demand side. What is the market willing to pay for your value proposition? If your product doesn't exist yet, find comparable products or services. Everything's been done before. Your business just offers a better way. If the demand side is higher, you either have a great business idea or you forgot to incorporate some of the cost elements in your business. If the supply side is higher, you either need to figure out better efficiencies or manufacture additional value. Adding personalized service may drive your supply side by 10%, but the perceived value from the customer may be as high as 25%. This marginal increase could be what you need to balance the equilibrium. Once you've determined your price, how will you collect the revenue? There are many types of revenue stream structures. The traditional one-time, where you sell one unit and the sale concludes. Subscriptions. When a consumer pays a consistent price for a certain level of access to your product or service. These have become popular with software as a service business models. Licensing and franchising allows you to leverage your intellectual property and have others generate the revenue. The freemium model works by offering basic services for free while charging a premium for the advanced or special features. This model has gained a lot of popularity with the advent of Web 2.0 and is highly recommended for consultants. Teach your customer base the DIY, or do it yourself, and when it comes to the hard stuff, they will look to their trusted advisor. There's also the auction method, which allows you to find the true market price of your product or service. Probably the best online site to use this type of method is eBay. These are the most commonly used revenue streams in business, but there are many others. You can combine existing streams or create a new method. No matter what revenue stream you decide, the two biggest elements you must consider in your projections are timing and allowance for bad debt. When will customers pay for your product or service? Prepaid, installments, percentage of completion, time of delivery? You will need to estimate a certain amount of customers will pay within 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and 120 days. Then there are customers that won't pay at all. This is your allowance for bad debt. The timing of your revenue has tremendous implications on your cash flow and should be planned for accordingly. Understanding your revenue strategy of the Brock's Blueprint will allow you to take a strategic approach to your business. Brock's Blueprint establishes the metrics of your business to properly identify your strategies, good and bad. Our program is designed to help you determine the critical success factors of your value proposition. Brock's Blueprint utilizes Microsoft Excel to fully consolidate all your company data from pre-existing software into one document. This management tool provides an objective source of information which enables you to develop and achieve your business goals. For more information, email us at brocks at hieconsulting.com or visit our website.